Ankylosing spondylitis, AS, is a type of autoimmune inflammatory rheumatic disease that affects the vertebrae and joints of the spine and pelvis, causing pain and stiffness. It is a progressive lifelong disease that usually starts in the lower back but can spread to the neck and other parts of the body. Symptoms include stiffness in the lower back and hips, back and joint pain, neck pain, fatigue, and gradual hunching of the spine. Cryotherapy, or whole body cryotherapy, WBC, has been found to be an effective treatment for reducing inflammation and pain in patients with AS. WBC involves exposing the body to very cold temperatures for a short period of time, usually two to three minutes. The extreme cold causes the blood vessels to constrict and then rapidly dilate, which increases blood flow and oxygen to the affected areas. This can help reduce inflammation and pain, improve mobility and flexibility, and boost the immune system. WBC protocols for as typically involve multiple sessions per week for a period of several weeks or months. It's important to note that the use of cold therapy should be done under medical supervision and that it should be part of a comprehensive treatment plan that also includes regular exercise and physical therapy, medication, and a healthy diet. Exercise and physical therapy Regular exercise and physical therapy can be an important part of the treatment plan for ankylosing spondylitis. It can help to improve mobility and flexibility, strengthen the muscles and joints, and reduce pain and stiffness. Exercise can also help to prevent the progression of the disease and maintain a healthy weight. Physical therapy can provide patients with specific exercises and stretches that are tailored to their individual needs and can help to improve posture, balance, and coordination. Medication. Medications are often used to manage the symptoms of ankylosing spondylitis. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, can be used to reduce pain and inflammation. Disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, GMARDs, can also be used to slow the progression of the disease and prevent joint damage. In severe cases, biologic agents may be prescribed, which are drugs that can target specific proteins in the immune system that are responsible for inflammation. Healthy diet, a healthy diet can also play an important role in the management of ankylosing spondylitis. Eating a diet that is rich in fruits, vegetables, lean protein, and healthy fats can help to reduce inflammation and maintain a healthy weight. It's also important to stay well hydrated, as dehydration can exacerbate symptoms. In conclusion, ankylosing spondylitis is a chronic autoimmune inflammatory rheumatic disease that affects the vertebrae and joints of the spine and pelvis. Cryotherapy, or whole body cryotherapy, WBC, has been found to be an effective treatment for reducing inflammation and pain in patients with AS. WBC should be done under medical supervision and it should be part of a comprehensive treatment plan that also includes regular exercise and physical therapy, medication, and a healthy diet. Regular exercise and physical therapy can help to improve mobility and flexibility, strengthen the muscles and joints, and reduce pain and stiffness. Medications are often used to manage the symptoms of ankylosing spondylitis, and a healthy diet can also play an important role in the management of the disease.